I'm Dr. James Stavis with OrthoHeal, and I'm going to show you the Thumb Spica Immobilizer. Thumb Spica Immobilizers, we typically see for scaphoid fractures, any kind of carpal metacarpal issues, or any kind of thumb sprain. So the first thing that I'm going to do for my patient is I need to get a measurement. I need to figure out what size my patient is going to have for the thumb spiker. So I'm going to take the box here and I'm going to pull out the tape measure. Every ortho heel box comes with a tape measure and I'm going to measure his wrist circumference in centimeters. Okay. So I'm going to go right here and I'm just going to wrap around the wrist here. If he has roughly a 17 centimeter wrist, okay. So that's about a medium, according to the chart, and 17 centimeters medium. Good, I got one right here. I'm going to open up the box. Let's take that off. I'm going to take this bag out of the box. And inside every box, there's going to be instructions for use, a manual for the thumb spica, a mobilizer. Anyone who is dealing with patients or dealing with the brace must be familiar with this manual, this instruction for use. It's going to give you a good description of the brace itself, some key features, its intended use indications, contract indications, patient population, and then a, a small measuring chart that measures in seven years as well. So that is in every single box that the Flexio is coming. And now I have the actual brace itself inside this bag. And, and the brace itself is very light sensitive, meaning uh, any exposure to artificial or natural light will start the curing process in the brace. So it's important that we keep it uh, unexposed inside this black bag. Now, before I open this up, I just want to make sure that I protect myself and I put on gloves just in case there's any kind of linkage out of the silicone. I don't get it on my hands. So I'm putting on my gloves. All right, I'm going to take my scissors, open up the bag. Have it open. The first thing I want to do is I want to inspect the brace. I want to first take a look at the outer side, the outer layer, which is going to be the silicone and resin layer where the gel is. And you want to make sure that there's no leaks and no cracks in the brace at all. If there are, you can just repackage it, send it back to, to the manufacturer. They'll send you a new one. But you want to make sure you do this every time you put on the brace. Make sure the zipper is well intact. Flip it over on the foam side. This is the foam side that's going to be connected to the skin. This is what's going to touch the skin and immobilize the thumb and the wrist. Doesn't look like there's any cracks. Good. Okay. So now before I put the brace on the patient, I want to inspect the patient himself. So I want to make sure that there's no open wounds, no infections, no abrasions, check pulses, check dermatitis. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Check bilaterally as well. Then you do a cap refill. Okay. He's neurovascularly distally intact. Also in the box, there is a Velcro strap that's going to help secure the thumb when I put that on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is nice and snug around the patient. You want to make sure that that carpal metacarpal joint is going to be nice and secure. The wrist is going to be nice and secure. I'm going to have my patient go over the elbow flexion just like this. 
I'm going to secure the zipper. I'm going to pull on the zipper a little bit so it comes down. Right? And as I'm pulling this down, I'm also giving it a little bit of traction so I'm not getting any of the patient's arm hairs or the patient's skin. I'm going to connect this button right here so the metacarpals are nice and secure. And I'm going to adjust the brace a little bit depending on where I want the thumb to be immobilized. You'll see some providers want IP free, right? We could even bring this up a little bit more to make sure that that IP joint is not free and the thumb is completely immobilized, okay? Making sure, while also making sure that the figures still have plenty of flexion and extension and you can add an add dog. Can you go like this for me? Can you go like this for me? Good. So I'm going to put the Velcro strap around in the thumb. Making sure that this is nice and secure. You want to make sure that this is nice and snug. So when I start to cure, the thumb is completely immobilized. You see this, the button just came undone easily. You can just put it right back in there. All right, now I'm going to do another inspection. I have it on. I want to make sure that none of the silicone is touching the skin and it's protected by the rubber foam. We're good. Ask my patient to see if he's okay. So far, it's looking good. I don't see any leaks. I don't see any cracks. The zipper is still intact. So now um, we're ready to cure. Okay, so we just did our inspection after application. So now we are ready to cure it with the blue light. So I'm going to put on these glasses to protect my eyes. I'm going to give my patient these and help me with those on. Yep, to protect himself. All right. And this is the blue light. This is the Rizicure blue light. It's a strong blue light that when placed upon the resin, is going to create a chemical reaction and that's going to solidify in a couple of seconds, right? So I always want to make sure that I'm doing the injured area first. So I have a thumb spike, so we have some sort of thumb issue going on, whether it's the scaphoid, the carpometacarpal joint, the trapezium, or you have a thumb sprain, anything that could go wrong where you want to immobilize this joint so it can flex, extend, ab, and adduct. So I'm going to turn this on, and every couple of seconds, it's going to beep. That beep is going to tell me that that area has been cured and I can go to a different area of the wrist. Okay, it's going to be warm. So if it gets uncomfortable, make sure you let me know. Okay, so we're gonna start it. And I'm gonna put right at this area here. It should be getting a little warm, right? Yep, you feel, you'll feel it get a little warm. And we're gonna wait for that beep. It usually happens after about 10 seconds in the first one. So we're waiting for that beat. There it is. And now I'm going to go to a different area of the wrist. I'm going to keep this away from your eyes and my eyes. Feel it getting warm? Yes. Yep. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go to the dorsal side of the hand here. Good. Now I'm going to go to the rest of the forearm on the dorsal side. I'm gonna come over here. Inspecting as it's hardening, making sure that there's no breakage in the silicone, making sure that there's no leakage from the rubber. Patient, are you okay? Good, doing okay. I'm gonna do, start making my way up the hand here. Then you want to make sure that you minimize the gapping of the palm or crease right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. Okay. So 
So it's completely hardened except for the area where the strap is. The blue light can't penetrate this strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strap off right? and I'm going to make sure that this is nice and secure. And we're touching on both sides there. And I'm going to restart that light, adding the curing process to the brace. Talking to my patient, you doing okay? Okay. And my patient is in a perfect position right now. The thumb should be parallel to the index finger, and it looks like it is. So if I went to shake his hand, it should be pretty natural. Okay. So I have a couple more soft areas over here that I'm going to get. Okay. And just bring your thumb back as far as you can. Thank you. Just a couple more seconds. Good. No, one more right here. And then as soon as this is done, I'm going to put that strap back on. I'm going to put this strap back on to help secure it. You okay? It's easy. Nice and secure. Yep. Yep. Nice and secure. Good. One last inspection. Looks good. Patient instruction is important. If over the next 24 to 48 hours you develop any kind of allergies or allergic reaction, make sure you call our office and we'll take care of it. Um, you can bathe with this, you can shower with this, you can get this wet, you can go into the ocean, you can go into the pool. However, we do recommend that if you are going into salt water or chlorinated water, you thoroughly rinse this with fresh water afterwards. Okay. Um, if then the skin is still damp and you want to get it drier much quickly, you could take a hair dryer and use the hair dryer, make sure it's on the cool setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inspection looks good. It's applied. I'm going to do cap refill. Make sure is cap refill. Dharma Tums, can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Yep. Can you feel this? Yep. One of the great part about this brace is, is I can do my dermatome check inside where the, the brace is. I can do my dermatome check. Can you feel this? Yep. Can you feel this? Can you feel this? With a regular fiberglass cast, I can't do that. All right, so now I'm ready to cut this off, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cutters here, and I'm going to cut these ribs one by one in a straight line all the way down until I get to the top of the hand, and then I'm going to unzip it and just pull it right off, okay? Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to jam these scissors all the way down into the patient. I'm going to stay above the black foam here, okay? And it's just going to make a little break. There's a lot of leverage with these scissors, so you don't need a lot of fort. All right. Keep on talking to my patient. You doing okay? Good. All the way up. I'm going to unzip. I'm going to have my patient just come on in. I'm going to do one last inspection. And you can see that I have these little particles from when I cracked it. That only happened because I just cured it a couple of minutes ago. Over 24 hours, if I were to crack it after being cured, we wouldn't get any of that. Okay, it'd be a nice clean break. Check the skin. Again, dermatomes, can you feel this? Can you feel this? Good. Check Paul. Check cap resale. Check bilaterally. 